What's going on everybody? Welcome to the Torian Rain Reloaded channel. If you are new, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also be sure to click that bell and have your notifications set to all so you can be notified every time I note upload a new video or go live. Also be sure to like, comment, and share this content on your various social media platforms. So today we will be calling out this Twitter account by the name of Asian Crime Report who should change their name to Asia propaganda report because a lot of the stuff that they put on their page, especially this most recent story that I'm talking about. And I'm recording this video on May 30th, 2022, just so y'all know, you know, when I, when you see the video, the dates will definitely be a little different, a little different. So they put up this video and I'm not going to play it because of the context behind it. But basically what you're seeing here is, if you looked at how they framed this, you would think that it was one way when it was completely different. So they posted up this uh, video clip that's 15 seconds, but it's actually longer than that. It says a group of men attack a man in a New York subway. The victim looks to be Asian, asking for the public's help in identifying the attackers and having them arrested. One man is holding the defenseless man as others punch him new york subways are not safe video sent by follower and that follower is probably a propaganda artist their damn selves as you can see it got 1.2 million views so you can see right here this is a black man right there holding this guy up and this asian man right here but to give a little bit of context uh the, of what this video shows it shows a black man another black man hitting this asian man while he's being held by this other guy and then later on in the video another black man comes and he starts hitting on him too now people would think oh this is another anti-asian hate crime appearing you know in the forefront and they're using black people to yet again push this propaganda that is black people that's just inherently out here hating on asian people but that was definitely not the case. We got some super sleuths out here. But I'm going to scroll down a little bit. Look at this follow-up tweet. It says, we have zero details about this attack. An Instagram follower sent us the video with no other context. So you put up there this 15-second clip of a video that you have no idea what the context is of claim that it's anti-Asian hate and you have no context that if it is or if it isn't, you acknowledge that you have no context of it, yet you still posted the video anyway. Interesting. So what does that tell you? What That's literally telling you all you needed to know right then and there. But let me scroll down just a little bit more right here. So this person right here said, I just saw this post on a different Twitter but I don't know which one is true. And according to this Grindface TV G pound, and it was posted May 27th, which was a couple days before this other account got a hold of it. You can notice that the clip is longer. Now the first clip, now the first, if you look at the time of the, 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 uh, the video, even though I didn't play it, it said 15 seconds, but this one says 45 seconds. So it's longer. But look at what it says right here. Allegedly, this man attempted to violate a girl on the train and these good citizens pulled him off the train. This Asian man right here apparently tried to molest this girl on the train and these black men. And it was three of them. The guy holding him up and it was two other guys that started to hit him. Was taking care of business. So there's your context right there. And I, I scroll down a little bit more because I feel like there's additional information right here. It says, according to ABC 7 NY witness to incident who remained on the scene until NYPD arrived, says this happened Friday, 3.30 p.m. at the Fulton station. According to witness, uh, the group of men said the Asian man attempted to sexually assault a woman on the train. So they intervened, called police and held him until cops arrived, said he was belligerent that the group of men do not know each other. NYPD took the Asian man into custody. Police report was filed and NYPD hoping sexual assault victim comes forward. So there's more you know, additional, like a write up right here under the NYC matters, uh, Instagram account. And this is, and this is, uh, the video as well from slightly above, but this account, this Asian hate crime account. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to let that play, but y'all heard just a little bit of it right there is making it seem like 
These men just attacked this man for no reason. Now, if you look right here, now this is on the New York Post. This was posted May 29, 2022. It says, video shows men holding down, beating Asian men on the NYC subway station. If people were just leading off of that, because a lot of people just lead off just the headline and don't read any further, then they would have assumed that this guy was just being attacked for no reason. You actually had to go and fully read this article to un to really get down to a point where they actually mention why they were doing it. And then I was as I was reading the article, it doesn't get mentioned until more than halfway through the article. As a matter of fact, it doesn't get mentioned to damn near the end of the article. So it's like it's forcing you to have to read damn near the whole thing to understand why they did what they did. This was just to pull people in and to draw their own conclusion without having to possibly have read what was going on. Now, I see right here, it says Asian Hate Crime Task Force. They have a lot of these Asian hate crime, quote unquote, Twitter accounts floating around on the Twitter sphere, where it says a group of men attacked a man earlier this week and know the victim. Please have him contact us. And this was after this Asian hate, this Asian crime report posted this without any context. And they said themselves that they didn't have any context about what was going on. So it, the propaganda started with this account. This account right here started it all, and then it made people draw their conclusions. Like, I was reading through some of the comments, and people were saying, anti-Asian hate crime, oh, they need to get these guys, and this, that, and the third, and people had to correct them. No, the reason why they got after him is because this guy was being a stone-cold perv. But they conveniently left that out, and like I said, this account right here said right here, we have zero details about this attack. A uh, Instagram follower sent us the video with no other context. Because they probably knew that this account would just throw it up there. My thing is this. If you had no other context about what was going on, why the hell would you post it? That's why whenever I do videos, like when it comes to these mass shootings and everything like that, I don't jump to put the video up there until I know the identity of the person who did it. I, when I say identity, I need to see their face and I need to know their name. And then that's when I will go forward. That's how I did it with Peyton Gendry. And that's how I did it with uh, what's his name? Uh, Salvador Ramos. I waited until I had their identity, their picture and their name. And then I decided to do it. This individual, whoever runs this account, just threw it out there, admitted they didn't have any context and went and ran with it. And something else I wanted to point out is in the audio of the video, I think in this particular video, there were witnesses that was around literally saying or yelling out what this guy did so people could understand why these guys were doing what they were doing for those who probably were probably just walking into the station and didn't know what the hell was going on. So, so this account, this active Asian account or this Asian crime report account, in my opinion, purposely and intentionally left out very important context after claiming they didn't have the context and just ran with a narrative. So that almost looks like this person is in support of what this person did all to try to get behind and protect this person just because they're Asian. Then I was, I was trying to find another post that somebody had left where they left a comment, but it ended up being a troll comment. And then this same account, went and retweeted it and saying, oh, it's, this is a plot twist. There's so many twists and turns. And like, I'm like, who's running this account? This person was trolling you and you and, and you was running with that narrative. I'm convinced this person is only going with the narrative because these guys are black. I mean, we already know that a lot of agents have anti-black hate towards us anyway. But this guy or whoever is running this account is all over the place. They don't they probably don't know their hair from their ass. But any I guess any thing that they could use to try to get at black people or black men in particular for this particular story, I, I guess was just enough for them. It's, it's amazing, not in a good way, but the lengths that people will go in order to try to push their anti-black hatred, even as far as doing something like this. And it took the people in the comments to actually call them out and correct them and was like, look, if you're supposed to be reporting anti-Asian hate crime, then actually report it accurately. Because when it comes to hate crimes, that's something you don't want to misreport. And this definitely was not it. This guy was inappropriately 
sexually assaulting or that is inappropriate someone on the train and he got dealt with but the way that they framed it was that he was just being attacked because he was asian see i told y'all or we told y'all that once they got that anti-asian hate crime bill on the books they was gonna act a whole ass and that's exactly what they're doing right now especially for some reason the ones in new york are the ones that are acting the biggest of donkeys and then you gotta think you got eric adams up there you got that governor kathy holtru giving them all this money they feeling themselves right now they feeling themselves but yeah it's yeah that's all i'm gonna say is like you you just got to do your investigative work and you got to check these individuals this asian crime report page is very anti-black very anti-black and it's a lot and like i said it's more than just them there's several other accounts that act and do the same exact thing you even have some of these verified blue check asian uh accounts who peddle anti-black Hatred is one in particular. I can't think of his name. And he is always doing it. He probably would chomp at the bit to post something like this. And then they want to act like, oh, we didn't know. You knew. This person said an Instagram follower sent them this with no context. And you still posted it anyway. And left it up there. They left this up there. This this video that they posted, not this one. Because they didn't post this one. The, the longer video that gave the context... It came from another account. And the crazy part about it is the longer video got posted a couple days before they posted the redacted edited video. So you didn't even think to want to post the full video. You posted what you wanted to post, which was the one that would help you spin your own narrative. So this Asian crime report page ain't shit. They knew that the longer video was out there. They chose not to post it. They chose to post the one that would spin the narrative that an Asian man was just being attacked for no reason at the hands of three black men on a subway in New York. All I'm going to say is this, considering what this guy did, he's lucky all he got was some little love taps on a train platform, might I add. And I'm going to just leave it there. So I ended up finding that post that i was talking about that troll post i'm gonna read to you what the troll post said and watch what this asian crime report page responded with i actually got there bef before right before the person that tweeted this walked up and what actually happened was this guys was the guys beating up the asian guy were the ones assaulting the girl and the asian guy walked up to try to stop them and they stepped back making it look like it was the asian guy doing the assaulting and then when the tweeter walked up they started beating him up to make their story more believable. You can now use this comment as proof when people ask what happened because people don't ever go and make things up on the internet. This was clearly a troll comment, but look at how this Asian crime report page responded. Plot twist. Another guy says he is a witness to in the that the Asian guy was trying to stop the black men from assaulting a woman. This story has so many twists and turns. This person, I, I don't know what their IQ level is. This person was obviously trolling and this person actually fell for the troll response. And what's sad is that some of the individuals following the page fell for it, too. Like that is. <laughs> wow. Or maybe they wanted to believe that it was real. I'm not entirely sure. I'm curious to know who's running this damn account. If you fell for this, the last comment right there, the very last sentence should have gave away that that was a troll comment. But. I guess they wanted it to be real. So, yeah, I think this pretty much wraps this up. And that's my take on it.